in this video, we're going to talk about how to sync your logic inputs instead of sourcing them. Uh, first of all, when they say sync versus source, they're actually talking about how the logic inputs are triggered, whether it's, error, it's, whether it's a 1 or a 0. Um, in almost all cases, the drives always come as source mode. And of course, when you're in source mode, you have to basically tie in your 24 volt supply right here and trigger the logic input to act as a command. So you can have a contact between, let's say, plus 24 and LI1, and you close the contact, and that's your one command. That's all in source mode. You use your 24 supply to trigger these logic inputs. In sync mode, though, it's different. You actually have to use a common source instead of a 24 volt supply to trigger these logic inputs. So in, so in sync mode, you go between LI1 and common. Any common will do, by the way. There's multiple commons in here, two of them. Uh, you go from LI1 or LI2, whatever have you, and you trigger them to the common reference, and that's how they get activated now in sync mode. Um, one thing that you have to do as well, though, to make this work, this dip switch right here has to be in sync mode instead of source. That's all the way to the bottom is sync. Source is all the way to the top. So make sure you are in sync mode if you're syncing this drive. Otherwise, it will be up in the source mode as default, as I mentioned before. Okay, so this basically explains how to uh, set the drive ATV312 to be sync instead of a source mode.